Watch him. If he tries any trick, let him have it. This looks like the real thing, all right. Now, we're taking you to a nice, quiet place where you can decipher both pieces of this map for us. We'll go out the surface entrance. Take a look in the corridor and see if it's clear. Before he raises an alarm, we've got to take Hillman with us. He's the only one that can decipher the plaques. You're coming with us. If anyone tries to stop us, you'll be the first to get it. Us, but we lost him. So Hillman is resting comfortably at the farm. He'll be in shape to talk by morning. I wonder how Captain America found out we were at Hillman's hotel. I think I know. One of my agents reported that the man we sent to the district attorney's office for the electro recorder was killed. His body is in the morgue. Then the DA must have the electro recorder with your voice on it. The sound was recorded on a magnetic wire. And when it was played back, all sound was eradicated. There was no identifying mark of a mechanism. We have nothing to worry about from the district attorney. The man I found here must have thrown this out the window. I picked it up in the street below. It seems to be a recording device of some kind. Yes. And it may have been planted in this office. Check it over thoroughly, Walter. All right, Chief. Give you full report in the morning. Fine. Let's hope we get a lead to the scarab. And the scarab is with him. Dr. Maldor, so you are the scarab. Yes, I am the scarab. The murderer of Lyman and Dodge and... I didn't come to discuss that. Let's get down to business, Hillman. I must learn the location of the Lost Temple of Emeralds. 
you will suffer the same fate as your associates unless you decipher these plaques for me. I won't do it. You'll never get your criminal hands of that fabulous wealth. You're very headstrong. But there are ways of making you talk. Tie him up to that chandelier. There'll be plenty of time to get the information I want. There'll be no interruption from Captain America or the district attorney now. What'd you find out? Well, there were no identifying marks on the parts, but I found a fingerprint on one of the magnetic coils. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. Definitely. I identified the fingerprint as that of Ed Graham. He runs a radio repair shop at 32 South Street. Here's his record. Arrested three times on suspicion of robbery and receiving stolen goods. Dismissed each time for lack of evidence. Well, this time we really have some evidence. I hope it helps us find Hillman. We'll soon find out. I'll force Graham's hand before he learns we have his fingerprint to convict him. Get in touch with the chief operator at the telephone company. Have a cut into the line to Graham's radio shop. Hello? Just a minute. I'll talk. Cut him down. Graham's on the phone. Yes, Graham, what is it? The district attorney dropped in with that electro recorder. He couldn't figure it out. I told him I'd never see anything like it. Was he suspicious? I don't think so. He just seemed to be checking around the radio shops. All right. Let me know if you find out anything else. fractured his skull. Your stupidity will delay my learning the secrets of those flocks. Stretch him out the couch, boys. Get my hat and coat. We're going back to town. Yes, Alfred. Thank you. Grant Gardner. Calling Grant Gardner. Yes, Gail, come in. The chief operator reports that Graham just made a phone call to the old Watson farm off Riverside Lane. Was Hillman's name mentioned? No. He only talked about your checking on that recording device. Fine. I'll reopen negotiations with Mr. Graham. under arrest. What for? For manufacturing that recorder. Your fingerprint was found on a coil. All right, I made it. I sold it to a stranger. Yes. A stranger you just called at the Watson farm. How'd you find out? Never mind that. You better talk and talk fast. Is Hillman at that farm? Get around behind here. In the back room.
That'll hold you for a while. I'm going to investigate that farm. H1. Calling H1. This is Graham. Calling H1. Come in, Graham. This is Gruber. The DA's got me tied up in my shop. He's on his way to the Watson farm. Warn the scarab. I'll phone the farm. Then I'll send someone down to release you. got the goods on Graham. He's on his way to the farm right now. Try to phone him there, but no one answers. Shall I try again? It's no use. The phone's out of order. There's no way to warn them. Can you beat the DA to the farm? No, it's impossible. Call my pilot. Tell him to have the plane ready to take off. Instruct him to load the bomb rack. Tell him knows that I'm a scarab. Just never live to talk. You've got to fly there and bomb the house. Yes, sir. I'd better phone headquarters. Thank <laughs> you. 